job creation spans across all sectors. Um, we shouldn't just think about the engineering and technical sectors. There are also jobs in the financial sector, environmental sector, legal, lots of ancillary services that all contribute to job creation in the renewable energy sector. Make yourself available. Align to associations like SAWIA. We do have an internship program that we are currently running that is sponsored by the EWCTA and we are very proud to announce that that was launched this month. Find mentors in the industry. Have those conversations with people in the know and if you're not sure who to engage with, reach out to organizations such as We Connect, which is a Women in Energy Networking and Mentorship Program. The South African Wind Energy Association will also facilitate you finding your niche in the market and create those opportunities for yourself as well. Don't always wait for industry to bring the opportunities to you. to see the massive deployment of wind power across the African continent. South Africa was a lead country, we were a game changer in terms of the rollout and procurement of wind energy and I hope that, that can be replicated across other African countries on the continent. Essentially as we look at Africa becoming electrified over the next 20 years, we are looking at an increased energy demand and why not clean energy from wind energy. a regulatory framework that allows for consistent procurement policies. If we want to drive investment and we want to drive economic growth, we need to create a stable policy environment which ensures that investors will be attracted to the market and in install manufacturing facilities. Well, I think the lessons learned is that we've seen how we are able to transition in a just way from a coal-based electricity generation to renewables. We see the benefits of reliable policy. In Africa, we see a success story in South Africa having celebrating a decade of wind energy. Um, and for the rest of Africa, I would say look at what we have aligned ourselves in terms of, allowed ourselves to do in terms of wind energy generation. Look at the policies already in place, replicate that, learn from that to deploy wind energy. Generally, utility scale wind power is more viable and we certainly look at Africa with its large resources in terms of both land and wind resource. Um, it lends itself to more utility scale and, and wheeling of wind energy electricity generation then becomes a more attractive option. Also because of the scale of the turbines itself, um, it is not always optimal for a rooftop or CNI generation. local thriving wind industry will have skilled its local citizens. It will have created employment and economic stability. It will be a driver of clean energy and through that it will have the supplementary benefits of manufacturing, services, etc. that will create stable employment in countries where it is much needed. We are an emerging economy, we are a growing economy and we have so many opportunities to leverage off of the growth of wind industry.